Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video on how to get rid of the white fringes when we do sky replacements, especially this time of year when there's no leaves on the trees. We can get these, this fringing or these white halos uh, and it just doesn't look great. So uh, there's two ways you have to do it depending on the sky. The blue sky daytime photos can be a little bit easier. Uh, so I've already done my normal sky replacement here and you can see that I got those uh, white fringes around the branches. So all we have to do for this is basically come down to this sky layer and change the blend mode that we use. So this drop down menu right here are just different types of blend modes that Photoshop uses to blend layers together. So you can see here we usually do normal. All we're going to do is select multiply and you can see just by hovering over it what each one does and you can see when I go to multiply that the white fringes disappear so normal I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better normal and multiply so uh, it looks a lot better um, the white fringes seems to blend those together or seems to blend the trees with the sky layer a lot better. So that's pretty easy. That's all you have to do for a lot of the blue sky. Um, so like I said, just go to that middle blue sky layer, hit this drop down menu and select multiply and you're good to go. Now some of the twilight photos can be a little bit trickier. There's one extra step that we have to do. Uh, but Twilight photos, it's really when these white halos or fringes start to show even more. So you can see here, if I go to the middle sky layer and select multiply, that it's going to change the sky entirely, and we don't want that. So what we have to do is you're going to select the top background copy, and you'll select multiply, and you can see that the sky looks good. I uh, blended it in with the trees well, but it did it to the entire photo. So basically now what we have to do is come down to the sky layer and delete the sky off of the house and the grass. So all you're going to do, select that middle layer and hit the mask button, which is just this rectangle with the circle in it. So select that. It should be white. And then you're going to choose the eraser tool. You're going to hide this background copy, or sorry, just the background, the bottom background layer, and then you're simply just going to delete that sky off of the grass in the house. So now the house is starting to look normal again. Um, Just get as close as you can. You can see that I'm starting to delete uh, the sky up here, which we don't want that. You'll start to get these this checker pattern. So get as close as you can, and then you'll just take your paintbrush to go back in and paint that back in. like that and then paintbrush and then you can just paint in anything that you might have accidentally deleted just around the edges so the better you are at deleting it the less you'll have to go back and fix so and if you get a little bit on the corner or the edge of the roof, it's fine. It's actually going to look like a, a natural shadows. So that should be good. And this part here, I believe, is just where I didn't do a great job of selecting the house when I did the sky replacement. So I would have had to go back and fix that. But all right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, like I said, these little spots in here are just where I could have done better with the actual sky replacement. All right, so 
And here's the before with normal. You can see those white halos and then multiply. So uh, give these to try on your next couple sky replacements. Let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, if you find a way that uh, might be easier or a better way to do this, please feel free to send it over. All right, thanks.